We're in Word 2019, Jasper Active Lesson 6, using table styles. So in this one, we're going to use um, this table right here, and we're going to apply some different styles and show you a little bit of formatting on the table. So with the Saturday course schedule document open, we're going to select the title, which is Saturday course schedule. So I'm just going to click and drag. Um, click on the Home tab if necessary, and we're going to center this. So go to Paragraph Group and click on the Center Align icon. Now, you could use Control e but again, because Jasper wants us to click Center, we want to make sure that we're doing that. Um, we're going to use a keyboard shortcut for the next step, which is Control b to bold our text. And then we're going to change our font size to 20. And Jasper Active doesn't specify how to do that. So I'm just going to go up here and use the increase font size button to get it to 20. That's step one. For step two, um, we're going to click the right edge of the table and drag it to the right approximately to the six inch mark on the ruler. So you need to make sure that you can see your ruler. If it's not showing up, we want to go up to the view tab to the show group and then make sure that that ruler box is checked so that you can see your ruler here. So I'm gonna first deselect my text and then I'm gonna grab the right edge of the table. So watch how my cursor changes. I wanna make sure I'm getting the two vertical lines with the arrows that go to the left or the right. When I can see that I can click and hold it and then I can start dragging it to the right. And you see the line that goes up and down right here? That's going to be my guide to help me get it in the right spot. So we wanted to take it to the six inch mark on the ruler. That's right here. So I'm going to click and drag it until that line lines up with that six. And then I can let go. So now my third column is wider than it was before. It didn't really change over here. We're going to select the text in the first column um, and drag that one over a little bit as well. So I'm going to start, because this top cell has been merged, it doesn't count in our columns. So I'm going to start right here where it says room 105. I'm going to click and hold my mouse and drag it down until it gets to gym so that all of these cells in this first column are selected. I'm going to click on the vertical border to the right, so that's this guy right here. And be real careful because when if you try and click it like where um, the lines intersect, where those borders meet, you're going to see you might get this cursor instead, and that's to move it up and down. So we might need to go up a little bit to make sure that it's on the cursor that will move it left and right. So for this one, we're going to click the vertical border at the right and drag it approximately half an inch. So first of all, when I click and hold it, once I start to move, that's when that line shows up. So if we go up to our ruler up here, you're gonna see that it's about half an inch, right? So I'm gonna take it over to the one inch mark right here, and then I can let it go. And it's approximate, so don't worry if you don't have it exactly on the one. As long as it's pretty darn close, you'll be okay. All right, we're going to select the text in the second column now. I'm just clicking and dragging, starting in this first cell all the way down to this one, just to make sure I'm selecting only uh, the cells in the center row. We're going to grab the right vertical border again and drag this one to the right about half an inch. So if we go up, we can see we have this little mark it's at about three and a half inches. So I'm gonna grab this and drag it over to about the four inch mark right here. All right. Now under the table tools design tab, so up at the top, these are gonna be the hidden tabs because remember a table is an object. And so when we're working with it, we're gonna get some hidden tabs. They always show up on the right they're usually blue. We want to go to the table design tab. And then we're going to go to the table styles group. First of all, I'm going to deselect my text, but make sure my cursor is still in here. I'm going to go up to the table styles group. I'm going to click on the more button. 
And this is going to show me a bunch of different styles. And you can kind of see in the background as I hover, it's changing my table. We want to make sure there's no previous styles applied. So at the very bottom down here, we're going to click the clear button just to make sure that nothing is showing up. Now, one thing you're going to notice is that suddenly we don't have any borders at all. Um, that can be a little disconcerting. So if you want to, you can go up to the layout tab, that table tools layout tab, and click on view grid lines in the table group. And this will give you some uh, faded dashed lines that will just show you the edges, but won't print. All right, we're going to go back up to that table design tab and to the more button in our table styles group. And we are looking for the table style that looks like this. It's grid table for accent two. So we know it's orange, so I can go to the orange section. And there's grid table one, light accent two. If I go down to the next one, grid table two, accent two. So I know I'm in accent two, and I need to go down to where I get grid table four. That's it right there. I'm going to go ahead and click on it. And now you can look at the example in your instruction panel. Those look the same. We can mark this as answered and go to step three. All right, so we're going to make some adjustments to a longer form this time. So we're going to open up the employment application form. And I'm just going to go to the bottom of my Jasper Active Instruction Panel here and double click it. There we go. So we have this application for employment form that we can see is on two pages. I'm going to zoom out so you can see both pages at the same time. There we go. I'm going to mark step three as answered and go to step four. So with the cursor on the application for employment title, so first of all, I'm going to put my cursor right there in the title of this table. Let me move my word a little bit. Um, I'm going to go to the table tools layout tab and I'm going to click repeat header rows. So this is a header for this entire table here. And when I click on the repeat header rows, what that will do is if my table goes onto multiple pages, it will apply that to the top. So watch this page when I do this. So I'm going to go up to the layout tab. This is in the data group. So you might, um, it might be a little one like this, or you might see it, but it's all the way over on the right. And then I'm going to select repeat header rows. Now you're going to see that my application for employment shows up at the top of my table on both pages. And you can scroll down to page two if you have yours zoomed in. All right, we're going to apply a table style so we can watch how the table styles formatting um, affects anything that might be on this document. So under the table tools, we're going to click on the design tab, so table design tab. And we're going to go to the table styles group and click on the more button. And then, and it might be a little bit hard to see because the screen is pretty condensed. But as you hover, you're going to see how it changes the way that the table looks in the background. So you can try some of these different ones here. And some of them might change the form. I know it is a little tricky to see the way that the screen is right now, but maybe your screen is bigger and you have a better view. All right, we're going to click on grid table one, light, accent three. So grid table one, so list table one, list table, oh, I got to go up. I was in list tables right here. I need to go up to grid tables. So grid table one, this is going to be in this top row. And I'm looking for accent three. So there's accent one, accent two, accent three. And I'm going to click on it. And now you're going to see that actually everything is on one page for me. I'm going to mark as answered. Go to step five. I'm going to click on that more button for my table styles group again. And I'm going to click on modify table style down here. Okay, now at the bottom left, there's a button that says format. I'm going to click on that and then I'm going to select paragraph. 
So in the paragraph, and this just applies to my table, I want to change the spacing before um, to three points and the spacing after to four points. So right here's our spacing section. So before, now watch, if I click up, it's actually gonna go up to six because they move in increments of six. So for this, I just have to select it and type in a three. And then for after, I'm gonna select and type in a four. And then I'm gonna click okay and okay again. And now you'll see that it's on two pages again. However, you'll notice that my um, header row didn't repeat. So once again, I'm gonna go up to my table tools layout tab, to my data group and click repeat header rows again. There we go, now that's back. Because it had gone to one page and then back to two, it um, deselected the repeat header rows function, so I had to re-add that. And that's it for this one. So mark as answered and click submit.